Boom, we're right here with Gabriel yes. Doyle. How are you? Doing great. Just finished up uh, another Thursday night class here at Atos, so feeling good. How's the gym going in Costa Rica? How's the Pura Vida? Pura Vida is real, man. It's amazing. Um, we finally, are like the shipping container just landed there with the mats and like the finishing parts of the gym, you know, so the, the actual gym itself is pretty much finished, just waiting on the mats to, to get from the container to the gym and, and we'll be gone. So. I'm pretty sure you've received tons of messages of when are you guys opening? Um, it's been a little difficult to, to fully strategize only because we're competing a lot this upcoming year as well right we got a this ADCC uh, MMA debuts possibly a couple one championship matches coming up so as far as a specific date you know we definitely want to try to get the camps going by mid by mid next year you know we want to do a jiu-jitsu surf camps bring people for the week I know that you just said it you guys are super busy are you gonna bring some people maybe from here or any other place to help you guys teach when you're not over there right so it's, it's gonna be difficult to teach every single day throughout the week only because you know we still have our our, our Atos HQ here for training, you know, so whenever we're doing our fight camps, we kind of have to be here. Um, or MMA, kind of have to be here. A lot of things kind of require us to be here, you know, so. But to start off with, we're just going to be doing surf, uh, Jiu Jitsu surf camps, get our camps going. And then once we're able to fully commit our time and lock down, we'll be uh, pretty much every, every day teaching Jiu Jitsu there. Sounds good. Yes, uh, for next year, any names that you're going to be fighting? Right, so the 28th, this next month, January 28th, I have a matchup. I don't think I'm allowed to say who it is, but uh, he's uh, a top rank, top 10 ranks you know nogi competitor so it'll be a good matchup for you know all the flow fans and everybody in the american community. brazilian um i would say like a, a european i think uh I think we know european. who is he yeah, we're not gonna say the name know. but we know the name, but <laughs> no it's a rematch so if that tells got you anything i um, awesome. didn't like the way the first one went so we gotta get that one back i know you're really used for you know adcc grappling and all of that you had a couple of matches with this tough russians do you feel any difference between the styles of this other guy for sure for sure i think um for example for this last adcc i feel like the guys were coming at me in a lot of different angles and sometimes it's difficult for those guys to come at us in the same way which uh you know when people do come at us in that way it kind of opens up a lot of opportunities as well right so you know there is the the difficulties of finding the submission finding the windows and things like that but uh, we know we do our best um we're excited for this next one like i said it's, a, it's more of a jiu-jitsu based guy so i'm um, looking forward to that and more than anything to be honest i've been super inspired on mma i've been training probably more mma than jiu-jitsu as of recently so nice. I'm trying to make that day. i know you sometimes go to Anthem gym and tj yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, are you planning during a couple of days over there to do some mma shout out to Enchram, you know for, uh coach raul all the guys over there man it's an amazing gym uh, always super good vibes when i go over there so thank you guys for all the training um, i haven't been over there in a couple of weeks uh, i've been doing a lot of my striking and things up north uh, with coach perillo jason perillo who's also a beyond legend so thank you so much to perillo for all the work too he's uh he's been really brushing up my skills as far as the feet go so your mma debut is going to be one probably or are you talking to any, any other league? I, I believe it's going to be one most likely you know i'm already signed to them for for jiu-jitsu and so it feels like kind of makes sense uh, you know, we're ta talking about doing some amateur matches, but I'm not really too sure if one's going to be stoked on that. I kind of want to straight on to the, onto the big show. So, uh, so many words out there for the people that follow you. and Absolutely. Then thank you. First of all, thank you guys for, for keeping up with my brother and I. You know, uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be doing it for sure. So uh, much love. Thank you guys for the support. And uh, keep on supporting, please. <laughs> we got the uh, January 28th for Jiu-Jitsu. Um, after that, I believe my brother has a matchup and then probably making my MMA debut uh, early next year. So oh. keep, keep tuned and thank you guys. There you have it. Thank you, man. Yes, always.